<clears throat> what's going on what's going on people welcome to part three on how to take a line drawing all the way to a finished painting in photoshop and picking up from where we left off in part two after lassoing in the lit areas of the figure i move in with my brush my main objective at this stage is to soften the separation between the light and the shadow on an entirely new layer I slowly use the brush tool to fine tune the edges and add more detail throughout the entire canvas. And every now and then I flip my canvas in order to look at the painting from a different perspective. And if I'm working traditionally, I'll usually do this by looking at the painting through a mirror for the same effect. And right now I am gradually adding saturation to the yellow because most colors are usually more saturated in the, in the light than they are in the shadow. The brush I start with usually ends up being the brush I use the most in a painting. And if you have any questions about what brushes I use, you can feel free to ask me and I'll explain further. And keep in mind that I am not super dogmatic about painting over the entire line drawing. And I'm not afraid to leave huge areas of the line drawing untouched. And I'd like to know your opinion about my approach. Do you think it adds more character to the piece or do you see it as a sign of laziness? Let me know in the comment section. And now I'm going to spend some time detailing the face because faces are simply captivating. When people look at paintings, they spend the most of their time looking at the faces, so you better make them look good, guys.
One thing I realize is that the painting stage personally feels much easier for me because I took the time to lay down a foundation with flat colors. And I'd like to know how you feel about this method. Which method do you primarily work with? Are you the type to get right into the meat of the brushwork without any guidelines or would you rather start with what I basically call training wheels? I'm really interested in finding out because everyone has a unique method to their madness and I'm open to learn from others. And like most of you guys, my process never stays the same. It's constantly evolving. So that's why I'm really open to hear about your opinions and your strategies. And now let's see how much of a difference I've made with the brush tool so far. 
and I know that I initially said this would be a trilogy but I have a bonus video for you guys and in part four I'll show you how I add a background to the figure and thank you guys for watching the video and if you have any further questions I'll be ready for you in the comment section I'll see you guys in part four peace